the fourth question here caused a lot of nightmares. It was big and scary and ugly um, for a short question. Uh, the formula, sneakily enough, was in the log tables, but um, it's not a formula people were expecting to be asked about. Uh, you can figure it out from the units, so I'll do that now. I'll put a skip button there so you can skip it if you don't want to do it. Okay, so um, I've got to find the energy here. Uh, the problem is there's no energy term in the in the units. Um, the, relax though, the energy is actually hidden inside the W. W stands for what? You're right, it's done for watts. Okay, so um, now I just need to remember what the um, what the what oh, something was what the formula for watts is uh, for power. It's power. Um, power. What was it? It was energy over time. So I just write that down. Power equals energy divided by time and now I can use that okay so that is the key to figuring this whole thing out now it's not actually that bad all right so um now I take my energy over time that's the W that's the first bit okay um and I need to go on to the next bit which is meters squared now it's that's area but because of the minus I've got to move that below the uh, the line okay that's what the minus does to it a K is Kelvin, that's a measure of change in temperature, but again, because of the minus sign, I bring it down uh, below the line, don't I? Okay, so I'll bring that below the line, and there is the whole formula. That's it done. Now, we just have to kind of rearrange it to get energy by itself. So, uh, I take the, all the stuff at the bottom there. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take all that stuff at the bottom. I'll just move it over here. So we get the formula, um, the time times the area times the change in temperature times the U value equals energy. There we go. So the question was asking is how much energy goes out the window if it's this big, it has a U value of that, it, and over this time, and that's the temperature between outside and inside. Okay, and just saying how much energy is going out the window. So after figuring out the formula, um, you can just sub in all your values here. So it's just about now finding the values, we've done the hard part. Let's do it. Time, whereas where seconds, that's going to be it. So 3,600 straight in, it's SI units, no problems. Area, we're looking for something maybe with meters squared in it. Ah, there's one right there, three meters squared. U value, uh, they give you that, it's U value, you put it straight in, no problems there. And the temperature change, again, we can just put it straight in there. Degrees is fine, it's, it's, it's grand. Um, and that's it. And you just multiply all these together and you should find the yeah, answer is 272160 joules. Don't forget your joules. You get the marks there for the answer. Because it was so hard, they actually were being quite nice and they were giving you three marks for just converting some of the things to SI units, not even doing the question, just preparing to do it. So, you know, that was nice enough, but still, tough one.